Okay, see the very very important uh, problem. Uh, actually, this type of models are we do in areometric calculations. Okay, it is given twenty milliliter of a hydrocarbon requires hundred milliliter of oxygen under the same conditions for the complete combustion. Here the release sixty milliliter of carbon dioxide is released. Nothing but carbon dioxide is formed. So what is the formula of that hydrocarbon? So in the name it is given hydrocarbon means it is having in terms of carbon and hydrogen only there is no other elements are there. So 20 ml of hydrocarbon. So total it is given in terms of value. So for that uh, we write the general reaction for the combustion reaction. Of nothing but uh, the reaction of a hydrocarbon with oxygen. We don't know the about the hydrocarbon. We are taking it as a CXHY. It reacting with oxygen. We know that any hydrocarbon react with oxygen. The releases uh, what are the common compounds? It's a common any hydrocarbon. Maybe alkene, alkane, alkane, benzene, whatever the hydrocarbon react with the oxygen completely. It forms a uh, carbon dioxide H2O. These are the common products. Yeah. Now this is X H2O. We have to balance the equation. X is equal to Here, why hydrogen? So why hydrogen? It is already H two is there. H two is there. You can have why hydrogen means we have to take a uh, Y by two. So Y by two hydrogen H two means so why hydrogen? So why hydrogen? X carbons, X carbons. Here, how many oxygens? X O two, Y by two O two. Y by two O two means Y by two oxygens means sir. Uh, y by four O two means if you write the, this O two in terms of X and Y. Here we can write uh, x plus y by four, x plus y by four O two. So we can uh, we have to remember this as a general formula for hydrocarbons oxidation reaction. So now uh, go to the problem. It is given twenty milliliter of hydrocarbon. So if you observe the general here, so one mole of hydrocarbon. This is how many moles? This is one mole. So this is x plus uh, y by four. It is exactly one x plus y by four. This is uh, again x. So this is y by two. Actually, there is no information about H two, so we are not taking it as. Okay. So now see here, it is one mole given how much? It is given twenty milliliter. So it is given how much? That is hundred milliliter. So here automatically CO2 is given. Uh, so 60 milliliter of CO2 is given. Okay, 60 milliliter. So now with the help of this information, we are able to know the number of carbons and number of uh, hydrogens. Okay. Uh, see, first we compare uh, these two reactants. Okay. Here the one mole is having x plus y by four. Okay, uh, next uh, here see this twenty ml is forming a sixty milliliter of CO two. Okay, sixty milliliter of CO two. Here we can say x plus y by four. Here x equal to we can write uh, here one mole. X plus y by four is equal to hundred ml is given. So here we can write a step that uh, this is hundred. Uh, okay. See uh, here the twenty ml. With the hundred milliliter, sixty milliliter. So actually, we have to take uh, compare all these oxygen and this carbon dioxide with one mole of hydrocarbon. Here, one mole of hydrocarbon. So just take the ratio of it. Okay. So by dividing with the twenty, we will get one by five. This is three. So with the help of this ratio, twenty one jar, twenty five jar, twenty three jar. So with the help of uh, these details, we can write uh, the number of carbons. We can write the number of carbons is equal to three. So therefore, 
here x value we got uh, 3 because uh, it is nothing but equal to 3x so so here we can write directly x equal 3 so for carbons we are comparing the hydrocarbons with the carbon dioxide because in the product only in the carbon dioxide carbon is present so here x equal 3 and see in the place of x plus y by 4 we got 5 okay so x plus now we write as x plus y by 4 is equal to 5 so this is the simple method to get the answer now we got the x and uh, we know that uh, x plus y by 4 is equal to where we get the ratio is 5 so therefore y by 4 is equal to 5 minus x y by 4 what is the x value 5 minus 3 is 2 that is a y is equal to two, sorry y is equal to 8 so therefore the formula of hydrocarbon is C3HA so these are known as ideometric calculations